On the 2nd of January we decided to go for a long hike and we went to one of the local hills and the hill itself was completely quiet. We only met nine other people the full day we were out. And it was a really good hike up the hill, quite steep in parts, although it doesn't look it here. But when we got to the top of the hill, it was the temperature was minus four, and when we got with, with the wind chill, it was minus 10. But as you can see, the views were absolutely stunning. It was a glorious day, and all day the light was just brilliant. I wasn't intending making a video for this, but I took the camera with me anyway, so here's how I edited the shots that you see on screen now. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in Lightroom just now and I'm not going to make any edits to this. All I've done is crop the image in Lightroom, but I'm then going to take it into Luminar AI and further crop it and then just finish it off. And this will be a relatively quick video because there's not much editing within this one. So what I'll do is I'll jump right in and I'll edit this in Luminar AI. Okay, so that's us in Luminar AI, and this editing process can be done in any program at all. I just thought for the purposes of this, I would show you in Luminar AI. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into Composition, and I'm going to take it to one to one, and you shouldn't see a change at all. Because as I said, I've already cropped it in Lightroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the composition of this, and I'm going to take it right down to around about there. And I'll just click that composition because I feel that that composition is actually slightly better. And I'm actually going to take off that as well and just take it in even further to about there. And then just click composition. So that there I am very happy with. And straight away, into black and white, convert to black and white. And you can see where I'm heading with the image now. For me, I really didn't like the blue in this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it back and just create more contrast within the image. From here, I'm going to jump into Enhance and I'm going to push the Accent AI just to around about there. And what I was watching was the light here. Over here we can deal with in a minute, but I was just watching the light here because it's showing up the patterns in the snow. I'm then going to go in and paint a mask and I'm going to take the mask opacity right up to 100%. So I'm just going to paint in there. I have nothing going on in the background, so I don't mind bleeding over the edge into the sky with this. Just take that up there, over there. Paint right through it. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is right click on these three dots and copy because I'm going to use that mask two other times. And the next one I am going to do is in Structure AI and I'm just going to push the structure again just to bring out some of the detail. And again, I'm just going to get into the three dots, click them and then go Paste. And that's just pasted the last mask into this area. I am then going to go into details and what I'm going to do is push the small details just to around there, not too much at all and yet again, paste. So we have that mask on all three and if I go show mask, you'll see there. So all three of those edits contain the same mask and we're actually nearly done with this image. Last but not least for this was the light. So I'm going to play with the smart contrast slightly. Just to around there, I'm going to pull the highlights back just ever so slightly. And then I'm going to jump into the professional panel and go into super contrast. And then I'm going to play with the highlights again. Just so that I can see detail here. And I don't know if you saw that, if I go before, after, before, after, I will do the swipe because I like the swipe, I like the effect the swipe gives. So you can see how much that has changed the image in a very, very short time. Now, if I wanted to as well, I could go back into the light. So now that I'm back in the light, I can go in and play with the blacks and I'll just pull them back just a tad more, deepening this black and providing slightly more contrast in here. I'll push the contrast a bit further. 
just to around there. Let's have a look at the before and after. And you can see the difference that that's made. So that's how quickly I edited these images in Luminar AI. Hopefully you enjoyed that quick video and hopefully you liked the final images as well. For me that high contrast served better for that image than it did with the blue sky, but again subjective and down to personal choice. The format of the videos as you see will be changing even more so as we move forward into 2021 and they won't be filmed on the phone, uh, they'll be filmed with the X-T3. So I hope you enjoy seeing where we're visiting at the time when we're taking the photographs, just to give you a wider view of exactly where we are. I also hope 2021 is a better year for you. It can't be any worse than 2020. Remember, stay safe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.